Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. It is a big day on FIFA Ultimate Team because we are expecting a big time SBC today, and that is the Summer Heat vote winner, Lang Lei. Yes, that is the SBC that we are kind of expecting today because of the vote that happened earlier this week, which included Jao Felix, um, Christian Teo, Teo, Teo and uh, Lang Lei. The vote is going to be released today, and it, it does seem like Lang Lei is going to win this vote. Uh, it just has to be, right? It just has to be Lang Lei winning this vote. The possible card that we could be getting today looks something like this. Somewhere between 93 and 94 rated for Lang Lei. I hope they give him the juice. Upward of 80 pace. And we need to really get him over 90 physical because that's the thing, in my opinion, um, that is the big stat that we need to see for Lang Lei's card, right? If we take a look at his base card, he doesn't have any other specials in this game. It's just his gold card. Um, he has 80 physical. So if we could see a plus 10 on the physical EA Sports, that would be fantastic. If you don't give him that plus 10 physical, I feel like it's going to maybe drop his hype a little bit as the card will definitely not look as good as somebody like Kempembe or Sar uh, or one of those two guys that are already out in FIFA that have very, very high stats in the defense and physical areas already. But this SPC today should and could cause some big time market movements on this game because the content that we got yesterday on friday was a bit sub par with the pricing and stuff like that so i think people are really kind of hoping for something big today and this sbc people are going to be doing it kind of regardless regardless of of the price honestly as long as it's not too crazy and as even if the upgrade is a bit you know uh lacking in what it could be a lot of people are going to be doing this 85 leng lei or probably 93 94 leng lei sbc today on FIFA Ultimate Team. And before you guys ask, is he actually gonna win the vote? I think it's like a 90% chance that he does. Just the Barcelona badge alone is so prevalent in this game. A lot of people have won the strong link between a uh, Summer Heat Usman Dembele that they know has come out and just other French links, like a, even a, to a Ter Stegen, right? Even this Ter Stegen's card, the 90 rated goalkeeper, or the team of the season version, people have wanted a strong link that is also French to this card. Because before you've had you've had Varane, you've had Militao or Ramos, and those just give uh, weak links to Ter Stegen. They don't give an actual strong link. So this is this card is going to help so many people out with just squad building in general. The Lang Lang that does come today. That's why I think people are going to be doing this card. And because he was a fan favorite earlier on in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, of course, this man right here, Jao Felix, uh, who already has a Future Stars version, is the other topic of discussion today. What's his price right now? Oh, he's up a little bit. Interesting. So I bought a, I think I bought one of him today, or did I not end up buying one? I didn't, man. Yikes. So I did not buy a Jao Felix today because um, I do not think he's going to win. So people, what people might be doing today, this is just a small little fact, I guess, based off of uh, earlier last week, is that a lot of people go out and they end up buying the this version, which is the best next best version of Jao Felix. Happened last week with um, Alan St. Maximin. He did not win the vote, and his card on the market went up a very significant amount because people still wanted to use that card. And I feel like this Jao Felix does have a decent amount of hype yet to him with the five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and very good stats. So maybe you see a rebound bit on this card today because I do not think he is going to win. But it looks like he's already up around 15, 20,000 coins. So he was like 270 earlier today and he's already inflated uh, because of that. But what is Leng Lei going to do to this market? I think that the Clement Leng Lei SBC is going to do a lot of things to this market today on FIFA Ultimate Team. I think a lot of people are going to have to sell stuff to do him. Now, hopefully this SBC... After the SBC of Davo the Wies that we got today, hopefully the Leng Lei SBC is nowhere near this price because it should not be even remotely close to Davo the Wies. It should mirror the requirements and the price of the Kempembe or Sar SBCs. Honestly, is what I'm feeling today. Anything over like 250,000 coins, in my opinion, for the Leng Lei card is probably going to be too much because again, if you look at other cards that we have in this game, like Sar, like Kempembe. If we look at some of these other center backs, look at the stats that we have on this guy, man. Four-star weak foot, 94 physical, 91 defense, 86 passing, 86 dribbling, and 87 pace. 
I mean, if you look at Langley, he's going to have to get plus 10s and even plus 20s in the dribbling and passing categories to even come close to that. And at least plus 10 or plus maybe even 15 in some of the other categories to even get close to a SAR type of card. Now, is EA going to give Langley that big of a boost? I don't think so. But people are still going to do that card just because of the amount of hype that it does have. Can you invest in SBC fodder for this? I really wouldn't mess with it too much unless you see some um maybe some la liga special cards spanish uh low like some of the cheapest players by rating i would expect probably like an 84 and an 85 sbc somewhere in that range so anything between 83 and like 86 could rise a little bit today on the market but i honestly wouldn't mess with it too much because i feel like uh if it's going to be a rise it'd be a very short one and you know SBC fodder is still very very expensive the stuff that is going to move the most is probably still the 83s honestly um like stuff that isn't extinct that maybe was before i haven't been trading with a ton of this fodder so if you have it could be a look if you're in the know about some of these cards but honestly i wouldn't mess with it too much man because you can craft uh, a lot of these cards right now with the 84 double plus and the 85 to 92 you can get a lot of 85s 86 87 rated cards and you know uh you don't need too many of these 82s and 83s except just to finish off your squad uh which is why these are expensive right now because we don't have any upgrades supplying them on the market at the this exact moment but again the really big thing that's going to happen today is this langley sbc is going to cause a lot of market movements in the substitute categories and what do i mean by substitute something we talk about a lot on this channel is basically a substitute good is something coming onto the game that replaces an item that is already there for uh, in the game. Basically, like this French center back, Upamecano. This guy was 320,000 coins before we can link this week. He's now up to like 370, 380. I would highly expect a card like this uh, to drop tomorrow. I know that Langley might not have as good of stats as Upamecano, but so many people run Ter Stegen. So many people want to run Ter Stegen. They're going to use cards, sell cards like Upamecano, like Prime Desai, Prime Blanc, cards like this, I would honestly take the coins on because A, they're probably at their highest anyway because it is during the weekend league and weekend league sell-off is coming later tonight into tomorrow. And uh, B, because, you know, honestly, another French center back is coming onto this game, probably going to be at a fraction of the cost for some of these cards, what they cost right now, right? Blanc and Desai are, all, are both in the 400k range. Blanc is actually pretty cheap, 421k. I wouldn't be surprised if this dips under 400k tomorrow. And then this Desai, you know, is 470, 480. I wouldn't be surprised if he would dip 40 to 50k tomorrow at least as well. Um, one thing I will talk about though is there's going to be some link investments that could rise. So I would be careful with French center backs and also La Liga center backs because a guy like Ramos, who I think I have back here on my transfer list as well, team of the season Ramos. This is a card that does not have a lot of supply. It is very, very rare, but also very, very in demand. This would be a card that probably would take a drop in price today as well, just because he is so expensive. Some people ask me, yo, uh, since Langley is French, since he is very popular, um, people are going to put him in their teams. How are they going to link him up? Wouldn't cards like Desai and wouldn't cards like Blanc make like drop right away and then possibly rebound yes there is an op opportunity for a bit of a rebound on some of these french center backs but i would wait to see how long the voting sbc is out if it's permanent um you know we'll kind of you know adjust adjust our timing and just uh what we think based on how much the sbc costs and wait until after the weekend league finishes to complete the whole panic selling on the market but i think a lot of center backs across the board are probably going to take a hit in price today even Rio is down right now for some reason. 578, just kind of a bit low. Um, I think a lot of center backs are just going to take a hit today because this Langley card is going to be a fan favorite. And if it's cheap and it has a big enough upgrade, then there's going to be even more uh, selling on the market for the substitute kind of method. Now, complementary investments. What are some cards that could rise today because of him coming out? Ter Stegen is the obvious one to me. Obviously, this card, the team of the season version and the gold version interests me the most. Now, I was just looking at Ter Stegen's gold card and I was noticing this card is actually up about seven to 8,000 coins from where he was earlier today when I was looking at him. I bought one today for like 42 or 43,000 coins, which is where he was for most of the morning. He's up to like 47, 48K, so he's up about 5K. 
Um, if you would see this guy again back in the lower to mid 40s, it is very possible that this Ter Stegen would take a nice boom up in price, as well as this team of the season so far, Ter Stegen, who is currently, I think, like 220K. I bought this guy earlier today for like 209,000 coins and 206K. I bought two of them, uh, which is actually inflated from where he was before Weekend League. Uh, but this is another card that could have some potential to rise tomorrow. Um, even a guy like Carvajal, right? We're looking at um, La Liga links, right? So many people have La Liga cards in this game that they're linking together. This Carvajal right back team of the season card is right around 200,000 coins. Uh, if for some reason tomorrow when the SBC first comes out, you see some panic selling on the market on a card like this, that is a complimentary investment to a guy like Langley, I would maybe get a little bit curious uh, and maybe if you saw some panic selling on like, you know, some of our favorite center mid, center defensive mid, uh, prime, or just linkable icons, French icons, Makalele, uh, Petit, any panic selling on these types of players today, not tomorrow, today, uh, if you saw some panic on this, maybe get on it, man. 306 for a Petit right there with a bit of 305, interesting. Um, you, maybe you see some panic today on these, and maybe you have an opportunity to buy and then see a bit of a rebound because uh, on the French linkage on some of the La Liga link up, I do think there's a possibility that you will see some cards rebound into Saturday night uh, as people do finish their weekly games. I was a bit skeptical of that happening last week and it did happen. It happened like uh, incredibly last week after the Usman Dembele came out last Saturday, there was a pretty nice rise in the market into Saturday night and uh even into Sunday morning a little bit before things started to kind of cool down for the weekend league sell-off. Do I think there's as much hype for Leng Lei as there is for Dembele last week? No, I do not. Um, but I do expect the content today to be better than it was yesterday. And that is the big thing that we really have to compare it to. Uh, somebody on Twitter uh, tweeted this out yesterday, and I fully agree with it because it almost makes sense too well. Based on the content that we got on Friday, which is what I'm going to transition to talk into a little bit here at the end of this video, um, the content on Friday versus what we've had for the whole promo of Summer Heat, it seems like there might be two people that are releasing content on this game. Like some person gives us really good value content, uh, great value SBCs, uh, and good player like choice of SBCs. And it's almost like there's another side of EA or, or another side of the content guy. Whoever's dropping this content is just like, we're going to screw these guys because Dabo Louise's SBC today was definitely overpriced. 675,000 coins is, I think, what Footbin calls for Dabo Louise. 657K for this card. Uh, and he didn't really get that much of a boost. I think I saw a stat comparison on Twitter of this Dabo Louise with an anchor chemistry style compared to the shapeshifter Dabo Louise with an anchor chemistry style. And the shapeshifter Dabo Louise has more in-game stats with that chemistry style. That's crazy. This card uh, is just, again, way too expensive. You can craft him, yes, if you're an Arsenal fan, if you're a Dabo Louise fan, you can craft him. And it is a really, really good looking card. And I'm sure he's insane in game. But just at this stage of the game, that kind of card is way, way too overpriced and it gets even worse. Yes, you guys know what I'm going to talk about. It is probably one of the worst SBCs we have ever seen in this game for value, literally for value. This squad right here, 83 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the week moments player, 50 chemistry, doesn't seem too bad, right? Well, there's a brick slot in the middle, and I'm pretty sure this brick slot is meant to represent a popular player in FIFA 20, and that is Musa Sissoko. I think is who this player is represented here. But since you have a bricks slot in an 83 rated squad, that means you literally almost have to make this like an 85 rated squad or a high tier 84 squad, like almost 85 rated to complete this SBC. So you're turning in basically an 85 rated squad to get an 86 rated player. That's ridiculous. You're literally losing like six, 50 to 60,000 coins with the price of what 85 rated squads are right now on this game and what fodder is. You're literally like guaranteed to lose 50 or 60,000 coins unless you pack a player that is like uh, 90 plus. I think a 90 rated fodder right now is 40K. So you have to pack like a 92 rated card or higher to even like get close to making your money back on this SBC, which is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. This SBC, the foot 20 that came out today. Um, I don't know if this is like a test from EA. Like what? I don't know if this is a test or what this is. 
But honestly, you're better off just ignoring that and not even getting close to touching it. We also got the Bruno Fernandez player of the month today uh, or on Friday yesterday. This is also a pretty irrelevant SBC after the objectives that we had. Uh, but EA, of course, is uh, they have to release this SBC as the, the partnership that they have with the Premier League. So we do have a 91 uh, Bruno Fernandez, which I think requires two 84 rated squads with high chemistry at this stage of the game. Just make this like 283 rated squads and people might go do it for to have a 91 rated fodder card just to put into SBCs. So I feel like that was a bit overpriced today as well for a card that really nobody wants after having the 94 available from objectives. We did get two, two new objectives today that will expire in a week next Friday. Next Friday is going to be a big time, big time day. The season ends, batch three is going to be coming out and all of these objectives ends as well. So Next Friday is going to be a really, really big day on foot. We'll have to kind of watch that and monitor that. But we got Kingsley Coman and Resilient today. Summer Heat fan favorites uh, objectives. Of course, this is based on his foot miss item that was av available in SBCs. A lot of people like that foot miss Resilient. But again, just like during foot miss, we had two French left backs, right? Resilient came out first and then Furlan Mendy as objectives. Or maybe Furlan Mendy was an SBC, but Rustillian was an objective. Then came the SBC for Furlan Mendy, right? Yes, that's how it went, I think. Now, we have Rustillian back again. Why do we need another French left back? EA Sports, drop us the French right back, please. The Malqui. Uh, I don't know who else it could be. Drop us a French right back, please. I'm begging you in this game. We need the French right backs for links, okay? Not another left back. Give us a right back. And then we have Kingsley Coman as well with a nice stat boost. Based on his, uh, I guess, Summer Heat is here. Complete these objectives to earn Summer Heat Coman. So this is just a random card, Summer Heat player that they are giving us. Now, it is very easy. Uh, this is actually the harder one to do. That is a very good card, but he still has the three-star weak foot. So there was no weak foot upgrade to Kingsley Coman. And that is, again, just one of the reasons why it seems like EA just didn't want to drop good content today. It had potential, right? All of these players here, Rusillian, we could have changed. Coman with an upgraded weak foot would have been... Really nice for that grind that you have to put in. David Louise at half the price would have been sick. And the foot 20 SBC at half the price as well would have been dope. So, but again, they made stuff expensive today, which really makes me hope and possibly think that it's more likely that we get maybe something cheaper today. I don't really, sh I'm not really sure about that, but I think the Lang Lei SBC has some big time implications today that I want to talk about. So watch out for link investments, watch out for other center backs, Falling in price today uh, with La Liga cards possibly rising and some other French cards rising as well. Just kind of keep an eye on that kind of stuff today and make sure that you are enjoying to the best of your abilities the weekend league that you are playing in right now. Next week when Batch 3, well, Batch 3 won't actually be in packs for when these rewards come. But So the week after is when it'll be technically playing for batch three cards in the tradable packs then. So we'll talk about then later next week. But again, Friday was a weird day on Ultimate Team. Today is going to be a, probably a interesting one with the Langley SBC. I wouldn't really expect anything else. We haven't got the party bag SBC, man. That's one thing we have we failed to get yet on FIFA. They put that into the code batch two party bag. They still have not released that yet. So maybe that comes today as well. A little Langley party bag situation. Who knows what EA Sports is going to have up their sleeve today. But Lang Lei, for sure, watch out for that kind of card and market movements that could be happening today on FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.